We're giving it away to the Alrighty guys, so check this out. Before this video gets started, I do want to mention that we just dropped some brand new hoodies on the website. This is our brand new tan color. These suckers are super fire, and also they are super warm, as you guys know getting cold out here so you might want to get one before they all are gone because these are pretty limited the last ones went pretty dang quick so if you guys want to cop you one and help support your boys be sure to visit goonsquad.com but as of right now let's get to the video what is up guys welcome back to the channel so today we are here at the original goon squad garage and today we're going to continue working on this 2002 jeep wrangler tj right here that we're actually going to be giving away and this might be the last video dedicated to this jeep right here before we actually let this sucker go to somebody that you will probably see here maybe even in this video so we're super excited about that right there and also we even gave this sucker its very first test drive after doing all this crazy stuff to it making it look good with the paint job all the aftermarket stuff the lift kit the wheels and the tires and i gotta say drives pretty dang good but before it's 100 percent road worthy we still got a little bit more to go but what's more important than roadworthiness four by fourness man our off-roadingness off <laughs> capability so that's exactly what we're going to start with this morning is trying to install this slip yoke eliminator that goes onto the transfer case this basically gives it that better angle because when you lift it that rear drive shaft gets at a more of an angle which is not too good so it kind of turns it like this which is better for off-roading and uh, and on-roading honestly and on -roading. i sometimes hear that people say it helps with death wobble as well so what? i mean we got a brand new drive shaft and everything it's gonna just finish it off and it's i mean dude, that's legit dude this dude. is super legit all from rough country right here look at this cv joint right here this is gonna allow it to flex as much as you possibly need right there then once we get this sucker installed which is gonna include us dropping that skid plate dropping the transfer case all that good stuff we're gonna go ahead and probably move on to the next thing which is probably motor mounts i don't know if these are bad but we just want to go ahead and swap them out if we can find them locally just to mark that off the list and then after that we're going to probably move on to our brand new soft top that way we could wash this whole entire thing mainly that frame underneath because we're going to start touching up that whole entire frame making it look brand new from underneath to top side to inside to outside whole thing is going to be a brand new showroom condition jeep right here yeah dude. showroom condition it's going to be perfect it's going to look good i mean obviously the brand new paint job fenders and the frame is kind of you know it has a little bit of like surface rust that we just need to spray up we'll dude. take care of that right there but i say we go ahead and get started with this and then we'll move on to the next thing So that right there took a lot longer than expected. It actually took all day to do just to pull that transfer case out, replace everything, wait for the gasket to settle a little bit, then tighten and torque everything down and put in like the whole entire SYE kit. And I mean, just look at our huge mess right here, dude. It was crazy, dude. dude that was a <laughs> lot more than I anticipated right there, but you know what? It is done. It's finally in there. All we got left to do is just throw on one more part for this thing to drive. That's this drive shaft right here, which is looking like it's a little too short yeah, or something. Yeah, so we went under there, a uh, last piece. We're like, we're about to throw this on and be done with it. We extended it, put it up to there, and then to the axle, and it looks like it's an inch too short, which is pretty crazy because this is actually made for this Jeep. 97 through 06, I think you can use this drive shaft for like a four to six inch lift. And uh, I mean, we're just an inch short, I think. 
possibilities that this thing may have a different transmission or a different uh, transfer, transfer case. case in it because I believe there is some transfer cases, I think in the 06 and up uh, type or 05 and up, they have like a different setup in there. So we may be with the newer transfer case in there, which is a good thing, but this thing doesn't fit. So yeah. <laughs> we'll probably end up having to figure something out. We'll probably just order a longer um, drive, drive shaft. shaft there, just a little bit longer, or we might have to adjust a few things, tweak a few things, but I don't think that's the case. Yeah, right I thought that the axle was too far back, but as you can tell, it's already way too far forward. I mean, that's just exactly where it needs to sit. It doesn't need to go anymore. So we'll um, see what we can do. We'll probably get it one overnighted or we'll get a custom one built. But I mean, as long as we got the front one on, the rear one will be Bluetooth. You just put it in four high and drive around like that. <laughs> yeah, we can still move around. So that's no big deal right yeah. there. But right now we're gonna move on to the next thing, which is the top, like we mentioned. Yep. What you or, think? or we can move on to the seat covers before we throw the Ooh. top on because Rough Country just got us some seat covers in today. So we can go ahead and make these seats look really good. Although I really dig these seats right here, but I think the Rough Country brand new seat covers will make the interior look newer. So I say we we'll go ahead and bring in the seat covers, throw them on, and then get to the soft top. Alrighty guys, so it is actually the next day here and a little change of plans. First thing we actually ended up doing was installing that interior kit right there. It looks super good. Definitely needs to be molded into your body, so you gotta sit into it. Go into the sunlight a little bit and then I think everything is just gonna, just basically just gonna collapse and it's gonna look super good. So we're done with that and we didn't move on to the soft top because yesterday you might have noticed this sucker right here pulled up and this is the XJ that we purchased a while back and it was sitting on bone stock suspension. But look under there now and see what's sitting sitting on dude dude that right there is the basically the exact same long arm kit instead of the back you know it's leaf springs in the back dude. but the same concept dude rough country long arm kit for the jeep cherokee sport right here with the leaf springs in the back right there which honestly i heard that these things might even crawl better than the tj's right there i heard the Who same knows? thing so we're gonna have to put them to the test we're definitely <laughs> gonna put them to the test this one right here is gonna be kind of like a side build so we really didn't film none of that suspension getting put on right there but you know what it is done almost the exact same thing so it wouldn't have been much of a big difference yeah yeah. Then showing you guys that right there, but let's just go ahead and take a peek under here. Look at that, dude. It looks like we can we got some epic flex under there, man. Dude, some pretty epic flex, and, dude. <laughs> and right now, it actually looks like it's like uh, doing a stoppy right now. But you know what? The leaf springs will settle down, and I think we might even hook up a trailer and maybe load that Jeep on the back and just haul it around or something like dude, that. Dude, I wonder if let's, this thing will haul this Jeep around, dude. I wonder what kind of towing capacities these things have, dude. <laughs> well, I guess we'll put all that stuff to the test. But right now, what we want to do is uh, tr build this thing. A a little bit actually we yeah. are gonna probably build this thing pretty crazy kind of like the tj kind of like the tj there and we actually got some wheels and tires some different wheels that we were actually planning on throwing those wheels onto this jeep right here but we got some other ones maybe we could uh, just swap them out we'll see what happens we'll later. see which one looks better which which wheels dude yeah exactly so i say we go ahead load up the wheels and the tires in the back of a truck uh mount them suckers get back over here and see if they'll fit underneath this jeep right here Man, 
I don't know, man. Just died and went completely just kaplunk, man. I think um, it has a brand new battery in it. I think the alternator's just not working, <laughs> so we ran out of power, dude. That's fine. You know what we didn't run out of? Bottom of boots. Look at this, what oh I just found. Goodness, dude. dude, those will be tracks, dude. dude. These are legit. Glue those suckers down to this. Look at that. Dude. Brand spanking you know new, dude. That might be an invention, dude. Don't tracks. Don't tell Boot anybody. Tracks. Boot tracks. Buy these little tube of glue comes with it and you're good to go, dude. As for the Jeep right here, look at this. We threw dude. on a brand new wheel and tire setup, and that looks clean. Dude, it looks super clean. Finally kind of fits that lift. Or, you know, with those other 31-inch tires, it was like kind of small, but now it looks like it's just met, dude. It just looks so like aggressive now. You know what I yep. mean? And then we're not gonna stop here. We're actually gonna build this thing pretty crazy. We're gonna throw some body armor on it, maybe some bushwhacker metal fender flares. Dude, just do everything. I mean, make this thing look super nice. Although I I don't know if we should do a brand new paint job or maybe just paint up the front new parts right here and just leave it as like you know because we're gonna be running through stuff like this all the time you know who cares about getting scratches yeah, you this know ain't no mall crawler this right here is definitely a weed whacker i'll tell you that <laughs> yeah. right now but yeah there's so much more we could add to this thing and as for like it leaning forward i think instead of letting it settle in the back maybe we just lift one the front inch up. pucks so you just throw one inch pucks i think in the front oh we got some i think what like one and a half or two inch pucks that we took off the tj yeah we, we sure might throw do. them on the front of that and may put it perfectly right there but dude other than that dude the interior on this thing man have we showed him that dude, dude it just looks mint a dude. while back so that's the highlight of this jeep these jeeps are basically like tj's but like more seats more room in there yeah. and it's just more comfort i yeah, feel like comfort. you just you don't have the top that comes off i mean you can cut the top off but you know what this is i, I like it how it is you know <laughs> yes sir but that's gonna be pretty much it for this let's try to fire it up figure something out and probably go back home and uh, put on a brand new soft top as you can tell she's attacking me basically <laughs> no she's just doing her thing she luna doesn't care let me go ahead and set her down right here get no, on get on guys. Oh, there we go and she just jumped down crazy cat but anyways look at this we finally made it back uh, on the jeep i don't know what the issue was i think just one of the cables on the battery was loose got that sucker fired up ripped through the bushes and we are back at home where we threw on this brand new rough country soft top right here and i absolutely love a brand new top right there tinted in the rear clear in the front that way you have that amazing visibility super easy to install and now we just gotta let this sucker go out into the sunlight and it'll flatten out it's gonna look brand new but dude that's just amazing right dude, there honestly. now with like the the body painted and everything else new the top brand new just finished it off that definitely looks super good it's super awesome absolutely love how you can operate these uh, half doors right here you can just unzip the windows right there and you know that's just dude, how it is it's man. simple our order a burger through order. the drive i was thinking the exact same thing <laughs> man go through the drive through and you can order man that is so cool right there huge shout out to rough country once once again man absolutely love their product so far haven't had any issues at all and look at this man got Ooh. the drive shaft right here within like eight hours went to sleep dude. woke up in the morning and the longer drive shaft is here can you dude, believe that it? is just insane man rough country is where it's at dude they, i don't know about anybody else man that's pretty quick dude i, I believe this was drone dropped or some <laughs> airdrop we don't like know that. it just happened to appear in our yard and we're like dude that's the perfect drive shaft that is awesome right there so we're gonna go ahead and probably toss that sucker on and also fill up that tea case with some fluids and all that good stuff get everything put back together and see if we can maybe drive this sucker see if it see drives if it, any different see if it drives any different see if it all like drives Smooth, operates dude. see if it operates and then after that we'll probably go ahead and install some other rough country accessories
All right, guys, so there you have it. The brand new drive shaft is finally in with plenty of extra room to flex out. And also we refilled that transfer case and this thing is finally moving once again. And we moved on to some accessories like this beautiful Rough Country 12,000 pound winch. I mean, this thing can pull this Jeep up clean up in the tree, dude. dude wired up and everything super simple yep. install right there. And the next accessory was the headlights dude, or these, before that, yeah, when we did the headlights. The winch and then the headlights. I mean, the Rough Country LED headlights were missing the trim pieces. Those will come in here real shortly, but those things work and they're super bright. And also we're trying to move on to the light bar and the light bar brackets, but some of these bolts were actually uh, stripped out. So we'll end up like you're drilling them suckers out. This is not complete. We'll probably throw it in a few videos, like some bonus clips and stuff like that. But you know what? It's, I mean, look at it, man. Oh it's brand goodness, new top, dude. brand new everything, wheels, tires, bumpers. This thing is just a beautiful piece of equipment right here, dude. You can call it that right <laughs> there. But you know what? This is more of like a pavement princess right there. That right there is the woods toy. And we're definitely going to put both of this to the test. Yep. But, but that's besides the point we yeah. are officially giving this thing away yeah. right so today we're gonna show you guys exactly who we're giving this car to i mean car or is it a jeep it's, what a, jeep. You, it's a vehicle too and we did mention it's somebody that we know somebody that's been putting a lot of work behind the scenes we're giving it away to the merch manager right here aka my beautiful wife right here and uh, what do you think I feel super lucky to have you, super blessed. There you go. Um, I'm I really knew it. excited. <laughs> <laughs> that's awesome. But are you going to let us test drive it? I mean, that's what I, that was of the, course. <laughs> that's the number one. Of course. We're going to take that for real. <laughs> so this right here, you actually kind of kept it a secret, but then you kind of ended up slipping up like midway, right? Yeah, mid lift, wheels and tires and stuff like that. I was trying to like keep it like a secret. You know, I said it was for myself and stuff like that. She'd been watch. having a live watch of how this thing was being built. She was like, man, that's a nice jeep man. i love that color and stuff like that so i mean there you have it i mean uh well deserved well deserved well deserved well guys. deserved putting a tons of work in the past few years so this is just a awesome opportunity just a token of yeah, appreciation token this of is light you know what so, i mean this is just the beginning right here yeah so i'll take the will mean you'll take the xj and uh, we'll go through some woods and if she wants to follow us she can <laughs> <laughs> but that's pretty much it for the uh this vi the video on the jeep right here well like you mentioned we're gonna yeah, just throw it in clips. as extras uh the next one might be a little bit of a curveball we really don't know just yet yep. but it's gonna be something epic you dude. never know but that's gonna be all guys definitely make sure your post notifications are on so you don't miss out on anything and also if you guys want to inside scoop before youtube definitely give us a follow on instagram at goon squad but with all that being said thank you guys so much for all the love and support be sure to drop your comments and thoughts down below we'll catch you guys next time peace